Why, Treagles? What's happening? Now, I feel about as well as a badger's fucking ass. but today is game day. It's 2017. Barnet are at home to Plymouth Argyle at the Hive. It's going to be another tough game. Plymouth Argyle, top of the league. We did manage to go to their gaff and beat them 2-0. Let's see what team turns up today again. We've got all four new signings available today, so let's see if they're available for selection. And I'll bring you more as I get on there. Like I said, still suffering with man flu, but I am braving it again. So let's see what happens. On we go. So the team's just in, and sorry about the sun, it's in my fucking eyes. So the team we're going with Stevens is staying in goal. We're going with Harry Taylor at right back. We're going with Nelson. And one of the new boys starts next to him, Santos at centre-half. Johnson is at left-back. In the middle, Weston and Jack Taylor, who I think is a fantastic player and hopefully has another good game today. On the right, we're going with Valetti. On the left, it looks like we're going with Kai. Up front, it's another new boy. We're going with... Akinola and John Akindi up front. Right, so we're inside the ground now, and I am with Duncan. Duncan's again here. Uh, that's Chris and my son. Chris, say hello, Chris. Uh, looking forward to the game. Three new players, or two on show anyway. Um, we'll see what happens. But yeah, 2 1 up the beat. What do you reckon, Chris? Go for a 2 all draw. 2 all draw. Twitter. Anyway, let's hope that we get um, a good game. The boys turn up and uh, yeah, up the beats. Hey, 1 0 to the beats, Letty! Come on, you bees! <laughs> Ball pretty in corner, 1 0 bees, come on you bees! So it's half time, it's 1 0 to the bees. To be honest with you, it is like a totally different fucking team compared to what happened to Lugan. No idea what's going on there, but I'm not complaining whatsoever. Now, this is the time where Duncan always says to me, What would I change? Not a lot, to be honest. There, there isn't. I, I can't afford anything. But tell both, a lie. Both Taylors playing well. Yes. Uh, I tell you what. But I've said it. Harry Taylor and Jack Taylor. They're both special. Uh, fantastic future ahead of them. The only thing I will say is, uh, Stevens, sort your life out, mate, and your goal kicks. All right. Um, this was the worst goal kick I've ever seen at professional level at any any team. <laughs> Alright, oh, that's his opinion, but still, you know what I mean? Um, no, uh, apart from that, can't really fault anyone. Um, I think the looting game was a wake-up call, we needed a slap. Today, we're playing Plymouth, they're top of the league, and we're enjoying it at the moment. Um, Valletti's been fucking phenomenal all game. To be honest with you, no one's really put a bad foot wrong. The two new boys have put themselves about a bit, they look well, you know, they look comfortable. I've got nothing else. I'm not criticism, so it's great, isn't it? Want to add anything, Chris? Well, I, I, I do like you, Steve, because you're a great keeper, but just sort your kicking out. <laughs> I love you, but you're a cunt, basically, is what you're saying. Chris, want to add? No, I don't think so. In, 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 <laughs> incisive words from Chris there. Fucking life at a party, isn't it? You know what I mean? Anyway, right, so um, hopefully we've got more of this to come in the second half and uh, we get a Barnet win. So keep it up, boys. Yeah, you're doing well. Come on. So game finished, 1-0 to the Bees. The amount of chances we had in that game, I don't know how we didn't score three or four. Brilliant, utter brilliant. The um, goalkeeper kept a minute, to be honest with you. A um, couple of chances where the ref should have let play go on and he didn't. Uh, every single one of them fucking worked their bollocks off and I'm proud of every single one of them. Compared to how the Luton game was, how this game was, it's a fucking different ball game and well played to every single one of you. Rossi, you blocked me on Twitter so you won't see this and if someone's kind enough to share it, but well done, all right? You look like you enjoyed that and I think you fucking deserved I'll it. I'll share it. Rossi's my mate. He don't like me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yes, so 2017, first win. Let's hope we can fucking I'm keep on. Unbeaten this year. <laughs> and we've done a double over the league leaders. Just got in. Last couple of thoughts, and then I'm going to let you go because I'm boring the shit out of you. Apologies for um, looking like a mess. I, I could see a booger up my nose there. Apologies if you're just staring at it because I was. I was like, what the fuck is... Anyway, right. Nelson, got a packet of Nurofen here for you, mate, because you must have a banging headache. amount of fucking head as you won in that game. Fantastic. Taylor's just brilliant. Absolutely. Oh, you worked your bollocks off. Every single one of you. I'm not going to sit and roll off everything. But you two guys coming through the youth academy system just shows that we are obviously looking to do something with our boys there. And if we're bleeding them through, which is fucking brilliant, good British players, 
We've got a good setup at Barnet, and to be honest with you, we're going to struggle to hold on to the pair of it if you keep playing like that. So just keep it up, lads. Right? We're going to enjoy it while it lasts. Three of the new uh, debut guys made obviously their debut. Every single one of them put a shift in. Um, there's not much more I'm looking to add to this. I just wanted to throw this in as my final thought, really. So don't forget to like, subscribe, leave any comments below. Follow me on Twitter. It's in the description. I've got a new name for it now as well. We roll on to Leighton Orient this Saturday. Let me know in the comments below if you're coming. And all we can do is take one game at a time. So well done, lads. Proud of you. Share this video. I'm skint. Another thing I just want to throw. Now, I got chatting to a gentleman. I never got your name. You asked me how I was feeling because obviously he watches my videos. He subscribes. And let's be honest, man flu is deadly. I was this close to dying, lads. This fucking close. But it's very kind of you to ask, all right? Look, my mum taught me manners, all right? Fucking hell, chill out. Um, so, come on. If I see you next time, I'll get your beer on me, all right? Also, uh, got chatting to a guy called Ian. Like some of my videos as well. So, next time when I see you, we're going to have a beer. We're going to have a chat. Uh, that's all I got.